Just hours ago, Portland fire officials, the mayor and city fire commissioner spoke at the scene offering condolences to those who live there and sharing the latest on this investigation. Fox Wolves' Audrey Wheel joins us now live with what we're hearing from them. Audrey. Right, Wayne, again, still in the very early stages of this investigation, but the fire chief said that this was a preventable strategy, a preventable tragedy, that is, and officials here stressing just how heartbreaking this situation was. Portland Fire Chief Sarah Boone shared when a fire gets going on a hot, dry day, it spreads rapidly, and especially overnight as people are sleeping, there's not much of a chance to get out safely. She says these buildings in particular had few exits and no sprinklers that people can become trapped on second or third stories, and if a main exit or stairway has burned, the only option is to jump. She says this underscores the need for smoke detectors, sprinkler systems, and up-to-date fire extinguishers. Again, investigators are looking into how this fire started, as well as the factors that led to it being deadly. I think today we just have to acknowledge the loss of life and how sad that is, both for the family members, the friends, and the community. These were members of our community who don't exist anymore. And I know that Portland Fire and Rescue did all they could to, uh, to save lives, but as you heard, this building went up like that and we're looking forward to finding out why that was and investigators still do have a lot of questions on this they want to hear from anyone with information particularly leading up to when the fire started anyone who does have information they haven't shared yet with police or fire can call 503-280-INFO reporting live in northeast portland audrey wheel fox 12 oregon